it's Amy from Scrapmasters Paradise. Today I am doing my January progress video for you guys. It is actually January 31st, but we are having date night tonight, so I cannot uh, make any more scrapbook pages today. We're going to be doing some like organization and cleaning at nap time, so I won't get to squeeze any, any scrapbook time, and then we're going to do date night. And so I won't be scrapping tonight, so this is going to be the end of my January progress. So I totally forgot to show what was left in my January kit and I ended up pulling extra stuff actually so I'm going to show you everything that's left and I said or I at least thought I don't know if I actually mentioned that at the end of each month whatever's left I'm going to try to toss most of it and I don't mean toss by going in the trash I mean donating it to Olivia <laughs> if there's something that's really good I will put it in a giveaway pile I have a box of giveaway stuff or milestones and things. But when I brought new stuff in, I definitely realized some things aren't gonna be used up all the way, like brand new collections. I'm not gonna use up the entire collection. Certain alphabets, like the minis, I could definitely use some more. There's tons of letters left in this, and it's one of my favorites, so I'm definitely not throwing it out. Same with like stamp sets. I'm not gonna throw out the stamp sets, but especially like alphabets that have been used and used and used, I will try to put those aside for Olivia. I've got a couple of like plastic Sterilite drawers in here full of various arts and crafts. And I could just toss them in there with her stuff and she will get great use out of it. She is very creative and loves all sorts of scrappy stuff. So I'm not going to throw away. I'm gonna show you guys what is actually left at the end of January. So there's no paper, no, not even like paper scraps. They used up every last little scrap of paper, but I do have quite a bit of stuff left and I was still trying to use up some of this. So I had had a sheet in here that had a few of these silver puffy hearts. They're from Freckled Fawn from a long time ago, but I pulled out an entire extra sheet. I had a whole other sheet and it might have had a couple of hearts missing, but I almost used up the entire extra sheet. I also have like a house thing. I just never ended up making another house layout. So I will definitely hold on to that because the house stuff I need for various house things. But like I've got half of a little shape here that I wasn't really fond of. I've got a journaling shape that just didn't end up matching anything. This one says fave. This one says remember. So it's one of those things where I was like, do I really want to toss these and get rid of them? Or do I want to try to use them again for February and give them one last shot? And I think I'm going to have to decide on everything that's left, like individually. Like, do I want to use this remember? Yes, I do. I'll stick it with my February kit. Do I like this one enough? I just don't like the stripes of it, so I'm gonna stick it with the cork piece and say no. But the fave, I wanna keep that. And I also am gonna keep something like this where it's a, a larger pack of something. I'm not gonna to toss that just because I couldn't get through an entire pack of sequins in a month. I definitely will keep that, no questions about it. But these two, I think I'm gonna go ahead and set these aside for the Olivia donation bin. <laughs> She'll be happy to have all sorts of things to play with. And again, like, these ones, I don't know if they were officially part of my Shop Your Stash January kit, but I'm definitely holding on to these boys. I love them so much. I've got two almost complete sheets still left, so definitely holding on to that one. I'll stick the stamp set back. I did end up using quite a few of these. I used the lines, I used the, I can't even handle this cuteness, the picture perfect. The hearts quite a few times, the little heart doodads. And I think that might have been it out of these, but they're definitely really cute stamps in the Felicity Jane older kits. I will keep those. And so this was the set that I had in the kit. I think I could still maybe spell something with this. So I might try to put this in the February kit because I've got some A's, some E's, a couple of N's, an R. I think I could still maybe make something out of this. So I'll hold on to this one for one more time. And I, would, I was running out of stuff so badly, I ended up pulling this one out. So this was just an extra one. And I am getting low on a couple of letters here. The E's, see this last sheet. Yeah, I'm totally out of E's, almost out of O's, out of S's completely. So this one's only gonna have a little bit more life left. I know I'm gonna have some Valentine's Day photos coming up in this month and I will make my March kit very like pink and lovey-dovey so I can get through some Valentine's Day layouts. But that's definitely gonna be put back. I'm gonna try to use every last one of these daily flashes. I just love them so much. And then as far as the other alphas, there's just not a lot to work with here. So Olivia would get great use out of the numbers. She can mix and match the letters, but there's just not 
I was struggling really hard to make titles out of these, so there's just not a whole lot left in any of these thickers. There's an A. I don't know if I could use that with anything else, but really out of the common letters for these. And then this one I have more to work with. So again, I might just stick this with March and try to use this one up a little bit more because I think I could get a little more use out of this one. But these two are just bare bones now. So I think I'm going to hand these off to Olivia's stash and keep these ones for March. And then this one is just really, really used up. <laughs> there is nothing left except numbers for this. So I'm going to definitely give this to the Olivia pile. So that got rid of quite a bit of stuff. I ended up using most of the embellishments. So that'll be her stack. And then I'm still going. There's new stuff. I barely even touched any of these. And obviously, like, I'm not going to throw out a whole set of these. They're brand new. I just got these around Black Friday. So I will definitely hold on to these and use them as needed for, like, space-themed things, food themes. What else? Sweet treats animals, lots of good stuff, baking. So I'll definitely put these back in with my other stickers and things so I can use them as needed. I really feel like I was gung-ho to use these and then the pictures for January just didn't line up with some of these things like a taco date night. I just, I didn't go back and pull pictures from various things. I'm trying to be kind of methodical about how I'm documenting things so that I get like an entire month done. Like I got, I also got January, 2020 documented in the book. I still have pages to scrap up, but this month I'm going to work on February and I'm also going to finish up October 2019 when Stella was born. So I'm going back working on other months, but I'm trying to do month chunks at a time and not necessarily pulling out specific pictures in the past that line up with whatever topic I have. So that totally didn't work for January. That kind of was a bust. So I will set these aside and use them not necessarily in a monthly kit, but as needed otherwise. So that's about it as far as the discussion for things. So I'm going to stick these ones into my February kit. You guys saw the February kit unboxing. I've got a couple of extra things I will add in. Not the sequence. I probably will put these again with March. They'd be good for Valentine's Day-ish things. So I will set that one aside for March. I've got like a pile here going for trying to use it up a second time around. And I feel like with the second time around, I will get rid of these foam ones. Give them to the Olivia pile. So let's go ahead. I already have filmed the part where I walked through my progress in my planner and also in the actual physical 12 by 12 book. So let's hop into that footage now. I'm going to walk through everything. I don't have two of the cards I made. So let's start from the beginning. I have a goal every month this year to scrapbook four layouts per month and also make four cards per month. So I don't have two of the cards, but I did end up making four cards. I'll show you guys my list of things, but here are two of them. And these were for Make a Card Friday. I just skipped last Friday. I'd already had four cards. We had a couple of quotes and stuff for the house, so I ended up not managing to squeeze in a card. So I ended up still making four for the month and two birthday ones I already gave away. So these are just two other ones I still have to give away in the future. But walking through, this is my digital planner. I'll zoom in a little bit better for you guys. Um, so I keep track of it in here. And these are cards I made before the new year. And then these are my four January cards. So we've got the Unicorn Anya, the Happy 2021, the Dino Birthday one, and then a Cactus Birthday. Three out of four have also been put on the blog. I still have to go back and put some of these on the blog because I suck at doing that. And so let's go ahead and I'll show you guys my January progress for the scrapbooking, which I totally blew it out of the water. You guys knew halfway through that I had blown it out of the water. So I had made up to 10 during my mid-month update, and now I have made 20, which I'm just completely shocked, completely shocked I got 20 layouts made this month. And it was a lot of scrapbooking. It was so much fun. It really um, got me back into it. And now I feel like a lot of days I want to come in here and scrapbook again, which is really, really fun and nice to feel the mojo again. Um, so we're going to walk through the layout. Some of them I've already shown in my mid-month progress, but we'll flip through pretty quickly on those ones. And I'll talk about these other 10. Some of them have been put on the blog. Some of them have not. Moving forward next month, I'm going to try to do better about making the scrapbook page and posting it to the blog pretty quickly after. This time I didn't really concentrate on that. I concentrated on the actual scrapbooking. So this month I'm going to try to squeeze that in to get most of the layouts posted in real time. Like I'll do a scrapbook page at night. I hope to blog it the morning after. 
something like that. So we'll see if I can get a little bit better about that part of it. I've done a video dedicated to showing how I'm using this, so you can check that out. I'll link it down below. This is an iPad with an Apple Pencil, and I'm using the GoodNotes program. So I've got lots more details if you're interested in the digi planning side of things. So I'm gonna leave this handy so I can make sure to mention which pages are the newer pages for this month. And so I did go back, I finished January of 2020. I also am starting to work on October 2019, which is when Stella was born. So I have most of those project life layouts done. I have a few photos to print, and then I also will have a few photos left to print for the end of January, but I did run out of ink, so I'm going to have to order more ink for my little printer to get those last photos printed. But I did finish my project life through, except today. I've got to finalize it at the end of today. So any of these pages that have the little pink tags are a finished, completed project life page. And I will end up, um, the project life app charges $5 to print, $5 for their shipping, I mean. So I will, um, probably order those coming up after I finish October and maybe finish one more older month. We'll see. So these ones are ones that just haven't been done yet. And then here's one I did get finished. This is just saying, we heart book time. I used a January little heart acetate thing that I planned on using. And I used up some of the little book elements I had picked out. And I have a picture of Olivia that looks almost exactly like this, but she's reading the doggies book, not this Horns to Toes book. We really like these San Sandra Boynton books. So I did finally finish that one. And there are a couple of layouts where I use the absolute last paper scraps from the January kit. And I think these are all those ones. So this one, I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this bird slash tree page. I just cut it in half and framed it out on this side. And I love the sentiment on this one. Double chin, happy grin, I made it rhyme. I love how like eclectic all of the letters are. It used all of the alphabet sets to try to spell out the whole thing. But I just, I love that photo of her. She's got the big bright eyes with the double chin and cute little cheekies. It's one of my favorites of her at this age. And so this is a house building photo. There was a pile of dirt in front of our house when they were building it. It's called Dirt Pile. And again, like I was trying my best to use up these last scraps. And this was the last page I made for the month. These are more project life between. This was the last page I was actually able to squeeze out using the last of the paper scraps. So I ended up turning some of the paper over and using the other side for these little strips and getting all of the pieces used up. Every last piece of pattern paper from the kit was used. And so I was proud to do that. I don't know that I will be able to do that again. <laughs> there it is, this girl gang. I did end up making two more layouts, but I used different papers. So that was the end of that month. I have one layout done from later in 2020. I actually made that during 2020. And then going to real time, this is the January. I've shown quite a few of these already. I just realized that I wasn't showing everything on the screen. So I apologize. I will go back and flip and show you guys because I'm like pointing to things that you cannot see. So I will take things out. Sorry about that. So this one, like I'm, I was sitting there talking a bunch about this layout and you guys couldn't even see it. So there's the book layout I was talking about with the heart acetate, the book embellishments I had picked out for the January kit. And then the picture, and I have an identical picture of Olivia reading a different book. So these are all things I talked about and totally didn't show you the full layout. And then the dirt pile layout, you could not see at all. It's just really simple. I just was using up what I had in the pack. And I did pull out a different little house sticker for that. And then the girl gang. We'll take this layout out as well to show you guys a better look. So again, I covered up the little boy and I cut out these little banners from a couple of different little banner die cut shape packs and just put together little scrappies. I like how that one was done. I like the background on that one too. And then the smoothie layout. I ended up using some things for my little food little drawer that I have here because I needed another couple of little embellishments. Embellishments were getting a little bit sparse and I needed something else that would kind of go with everything. So these are two different scrapbook layouts, but there we go, Troublemaker. She's again wearing dinosaurs, so I put some dinosaurs on there. 
try to keep the embellishments kind of um, minimal. Show that one, and then this was a newer one. So let's flip. So this is one of the last ones that I made here. And I used the words, let it snow, and I kind of like dripped them down the page to kind of give it some more motion like the snowflakes. I cut out tons of these stitched snowflakes from Lawn Fawn to do the, most of the background and added enamel dots. I also added some old Bella Boulevard things. And this is when I started pulling out the February stuff because I was completely out of paper and I had put together a special kit specifically with just winter and Christmas themed things. So I pulled the papers from that and the embellishments from that, except the alphas I pulled out for the February Shop Your Stash kit. So those are actually February alphas, but they worked perfectly with this layout. Really like how that one turned out. Continuing on, I've shown these. I've shown a lot of these already. There are a couple more to show. But here's one where she she watched another little girl say cheese and take a picture. So I was using my phone to like add something to the grocery list and she just started going ease. <laughs> so I took her picture and I really like how that, this one turned out. I was running out of papers so I just ended up making a bunch of hearts out of some scraps I had to make this one work. Oh, just cheese. And then this one is bear in a chair. I made it rhyme. And this is the bear she just decided one day recently. That this is her stuffed animal. So she takes bear around and she'll be like, bear, every time bear is not near her. Like if she sees it across the room, she'll just shout bear. So I used the February kit goodies for some of this. So I was out of papers and these are all February kit goodies here. And that was the end. 10 more layouts to show you guys, which is shocking to me how many I actually got done this month. And I also worked on previous months. I also got a ton of Project Life done. If you see all these little pink tags, those are Project Life pages that are done. They just need to be printed. So I was really, really proud of my progress this month. I hope that I continue on. I'm going to try something different in February moving forward. I'm going to try to just concentrate on like one, one main photo a day, possibly two. Like if I have a really good one of Olivia and a really good one of Stella, I'm not gonna pick and choose which one. So I'm going to do a different layout for Project Life. Um, let's see if I can pull it up. So for the collage pages, I tend to stick to this layout for my Project Life or the opposite, this one. So those are the main two that I use. Sometimes I will throw in um, one of these or the other one that doesn't have any four by sixes, but I plan on trying to stick with doing these and doing like one of these per week for the month of February. So I feel like that is a totally doable goal. That gives me eight, nine, 10 photos for one week. So that can be about one photo a day, maybe possibly two. And if I need more, I can definitely just make this into um, the other one this one that doesn't have the four by six. So that's my plan moving forward. I plan on trying to stick with just picking out the one or two best photos per day, sticking with one layout per week. I'm gonna really try to do that this month and I'll let you guys know how it goes because I did make like 10 Project Life pages for the month of January, which is a lot. And I feel like I'm kind of catching up on documenting the everyday moments because I haven't been documenting them. So I feel like I can, definitely pare it down the further along I get in it. It's just so new and exciting to me right now and I wanna document every last little thing so I have to work on narrowing it down for future months. All right, Livy is in here now with me. She's gonna cut shapes with a big shot while I finish wrapping up this video. But that's my plan moving forward. I'm gonna narrow it down quite a bit and try to use this layout and not make quite so many of the Project Life pages. And when I'm going back to previous months, I'm gonna try my best to not pull out every picture. Well, you could see that. Hi, camera. <laughs> she said hi, camera. Okay, um, so I'm just gonna work on pulling out less and less. So that's my plan moving forward. I hope you guys like this look into my album and I hope you got some value out of it. Be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe. I plan on making a card for Friday and I will do a mid-month progress for February, just like I did this month with the January mid-month progress. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching, bye.